South Polar Continent was originally called Terra Australis. Eventually Antarctica was adopted as the continental name in the 1890s. Antarctica's name means opposite to the Arctic or opposite to the North. Antarctica is about 5.5 million square miles, which is about 14.2 million square kilometers. Antarctica has no indigenous inhabitants. Several governments maintain both permanent manned and summer-only staffed research stations on Antarctica. The number of people conducting and supporting scientific research and other work on the continent and its nearby islands varies from about 1,000 in winter to about 5,000 in the summer. About 98% of Antarctica is covered by the Antarctic Ice Sheet, a sheet of ice averaging at least one mile in thickness. Continental Ice Sheet contains approximately 7 million cubic miles of ice, representing about 90% of the world's ice and 80% of its fresh water. If all of the ice in Antarctica were melted, sea levels would rise about 200 feet. The continent is divided into East Antarctica and West Antarctica. East and West Antarctica are separated by the approximately 2,100-mile-long Transantarctic Mountains. Antarctica has only two seasons. Summer and winter. Because of its location in the Southern Hemisphere, Antarctica's summer is from October to February. January is the warmest month in Antarctica. If anyone is in Antarctica once winter comes, they're staying until summer returns. Flights and ships cease travel to and from Antarctica once the weather starts to turn, as conditions become too treacherous for travel. Although Antarctica is the most remote continent on Earth, you can actually visit it. There are several travel agencies specializing in Antarctic travel vacations, tours and expeditions. The most common expeditions last approximately 9 to 10 days. For those with a thirst for a deeper exploration of this remote wilderness, there are expeditions that spend 20 or more days in Antarctica. The best time to visit Antarctica is from October to March. The first voyages of the season reach Antarctica in end of October or early November, when the sea ice opens up just enough to allow ships travel through. Polar bears live in the Arctic, but not Antarctica. Down south in Antarctica you'll find penguins, seals, whales and all kinds of seabirds, but never polar bears.